Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl Brit Reacts, and today we are reacting to Bobby Gentry, Fancy. Let's see what she has to say. I remember it all very well, looking back it was the summer I turned 18. We lived in a one-room run-down shack on the outskirts of New Orleans. Ooh. We didn't have money for food or rent To say the least we were hard pressed Then mom spent every last penny we had To buy me a dancing dress Wait a minute This is Reba's fancy, isn't it? Isn't this Reba's fancy? Okay, who came first? Whose song is this, y'all? I'm like, I've heard this song before But I've never heard Bobby I think I've only reacted to Bobby Gentry one time who, who came first, the chicken or the egg? Y'all. Is Bobby Gentry older than Reba? Like, how does this work? <laughs> Whose song is this? Um, obviously, I love the song. I flipped out when I when I watched Reba's version. Um, and I'm, I was really listening like, this sounds so familiar. I die for this red dress that I can only see a quarter of. <laughs> but I already know I die for it, like. The sleeve is a sleigh. Her hair cascading over the shoulder. And then her vocal is so like deep and sultry. Sultry is the word I'm going to really go with and run with it. All right. It just is very um, mysterious, mystifying. And I love the, the timing of which she's singing. Like it, it it's um Reba's was a lot more country and hers feels a little bit more rhythm and bluesy. Whose song? Whose original song is this? Every last penny we had to buy me a dancing dress. Mama washed and comb and curl. Oh, it's not a dress. She painted my eyes and lips. And then I stepped into a satin dancing. It's not a dress. It's a two-piece suit. And now I really want it. And it's feather sleeves. I really couldn't see it from up top, but I knew that I loved it. Oh, Bobby Gentry, be still my heart. <gasps> this is a fashion moment. From the head to the toe, to the root of, from the root to the two to y'all, her hair. <gasps> Bobby Gentry, are you my spirit animal? <laughs> oh, I'm freaking out at this moment. This is a moment. This is a fashion moment. This is iconic. Gag. I'm gagging. Girl. I stepped into Girl. a satin dancing dress that was split on the side, cleaned up to Okay. Well, it was red velvet trim and it fit me good. And standing good. back from the looking glass was Ooh. a woman where a broke kid had stood. And standing back. Da -da 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 the, the rhythm here is really nice. It's, it's, it's really nice. I think she came first. While her legs look 10 million like miles long in these pants. I need this outfit. And is that like a cape? It's not even like a sleeved shirt. It's like a shawl. That word is tough for me, y'all. Shawl. Shawl. <laughs> Anywho, I would die for this outfit. Like, for real. For real, bury me in it. Oh, gorge. Yeah, I love the way she's singing this. I love it. It feels so like cheeky a little bit, a little sassy. I like it. Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. Yeah. Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. Mama, dad, a little bit of perfume on my neck. Can't you kiss my cheek? And I saw the tears well up. Eyes when she started to speak She looked at a pitiful shack And then she looked at me And took a ragged breath Your paws run off And I'm real sick And the baby's gonna starve to death She handed me a heart-shaped locket That said to thine own self be true I can't take it I, I'm like in I'm mesmerized I'm just mesmerized By the physical being of this woman And then she's got this voice That's like wrapping you up It is sensational this song is a really good song i don't i don't know who wrote it i don't know who I, I i'm gonna go with bobby came first bobby was now was the egg or the chicken first i was gonna say bobby was the chicken but some will argue that the egg came first so hell if i know but um i don't know though because reba's video was like completely in black and white and 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, um, the songwriting here, the story that is being told is a pretty uh, sad story. And I think the way that Bobby, Bobby is singing it gives it a life, a different life. It, it, it makes the song feel more inspiring than it does kind of like a devastating tale in the beginning, right? Because in the beginning, like the girl is basically being pushed out the door because her mama can't take care of her. Um, so yeah, I like kind of the upbeat tempo rhythm cadence that she is singing this in. And shivered as a watch roach crawl across the toe of my high heel shoe. Yeah. It sounded like somebody else that was talking, asking, Mama, what do I do? And just be nice to the gentleman, Fancy, and they'll be nice to you. Here's your one chance, Fancy, don't let me die. Uh, I just also, honorable mention to the, to the dancing, to the choreography, it's so cute. It's really so cute. Here's your one chance, Fancy, don't let me die. Oh, it is a sleeve. Don't forget it for what I do. But if you want out, well, it's up to you. Now get them now. I want y'all to know I'm about to screen shoot this, this outfit and like have somebody make it for me. Any of you out there seamstresses or have a connection to an outfit that I want this. Like the pants are, I can't get over it. I can't get over it. Y'all can't tell by what I wear when I sit down in front of this camera because it's about ultimate comfort comfort okay it's all about being comfy and cozy when i sit down when i film because i want to be comfortable but i'm in, i'm in the fashion like i really like love i love a look i love a look the closet full of looks um <laughs> and maybe one day i'll like it's just like you can't even see that much of me why am i gonna sit down and put a look on for y'all and then have to wash it what no way but like i would wear this and i would wear it to Publix, and i would dare someone to ask me where i'm going i'm going home after I leave Publix and you're welcome for this look. Like, look at that outfit. Somebody please, I will share my peel box with you if you will ship me this outfit. I'm beyond serious. Are you joking? Oh. Look at the feet. Footwork, footwork. Well, that was the last time I saw my mom and I left that biggity shack. Cause the welfare people came and took the baby mom back and I ain't been back. Aww. But the wheels of fate started to turn And me, there was no way out And it wasn't very long till I knew exactly what my mom had been talking about mm -hmm, Girl, and real life I had to do, but I made myself a solemn vow That I was gonna be a lady someday Though I didn't know when I I couldn't see spinning the It's just so good is she an actress also? I just get like acting qualities from her. Like the way her performance quality is, it feels like she, I mean, she could take over the world if she wanted to, but like she gives like Superwoman vibes. Like, can she act? Did she act? Does she act? Is she alive? <laughs> Bobby Dentry, I really want to be you. I really think you are my new like idol. I don't know. You're like kind of amazing. Rest of my life with my head hung down in shame. I might have been born just plain white trash, but fancy was my name. Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. Yeah. It wasn't long after a benevolent man took me in off the street. And one week later, I was pouring his tea in a five room hotel suite. Yes, you were. Charmed. This is the ultimate like come up song. It's the ultimate swindle song. It's the ultimate uh girl go get the bag song. <laughs> she said it took her one week, y'all. Seven days. Seven calendar days to be in the penthouse with a benevolent, benevolent man. I don't even know what that means. Benevolent, I'm gonna mean I'm gonna guess that it means well off. Uh you let me know. Uh, I really also, I'm, I can't get over her dancing. I, 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 if you can't tell, I'm obsessed. Have I made that quite clear yet? Everything about this is so good. All of it. All of it.
It's perfect. One week later, I was pouring his tea in a five-room hotel suite. Yes, she was. Sure. Yes, she was. King, a congressman, and an occasional aristocrat. Okay. And I got me a Georgia mansion in an elegant New York townhouse flat. And I okay. Did she say I'm not done yet? And I ain't done yet. All right, baby girl. Now in this world, there's a lot of self-righteous hypocrites that would call me bad and criticize my mama for turning me Would you criticize her mama for turning her out? I guess, <laughs> you know, her mother did the best she could with what she had. And given the circumstances, she knew Fancy would have been way worse off sticking around, right? And I mean, did Fancy do too bad for herself? It only took her seven days. It's not like she was out in the streets for long. Seven days, seven days, seven days, y'all. I don't know. You tell me. What, what do you think? What would you do? I don't know what I'd do. And I have a daughter. What would I do? I don't know. And though I ain't had to worry about nothing for now, 15 years, I can still hear the desperation in my poor mama's voice ringing in my ear. Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Oh, yes, she is. Someone, anyone, please find me this outfit. Let me take a screenshot so I don't forget when I'm done to go find this outfit. <laughs> Y'all, I really, really think I'm like her newest, biggest fan. She's incredible. Her voice, her face, her hair, the outfit, the dancing, everything. I really think if she didn't act, she should attach. I don't know why I'm talking in past tense. I'm not sure if this woman is still alive or not. I'm sorry. Uh, but the, tapping into acting is something that needed to, needed to happen in this era. Like, I don't know what's going on right now, but she should have been acting because the way that she performed this made me feel like I was watching like a seasoned actress, like give us a really good performance. It was, I'm knocking stuff over. That's how excited she's got me. I don't even know what that just was, I feel. <laughs> Lord bless it. You see what you're doing to, 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 I can't even talk. <laughs> I'm in shambles. That was really good. That was, that was, I just think I'm in awe. I think I'm like awestruck a little bit. All right, somebody find the outfit for me. Tell me what else I need to hear or see from her because I am now on the Bobby Gentry train. Choo-choo. And go and have the day you deserve. Peace.